please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. Today is Tuesday, October 8th. I'm Lillian Westhafer. And I'm Carter Kent. Coming up, we have information from Mrs. Knight about the CTC. Also, we'll tell you about an upcoming film festival our team will be attending. We'll be right back with all this and your school news. news. This month on October 29th, CCHS Today counselors will be taking students to the Lebanon Valley Expo Center for their annual college and career fair. Interested students should sign up in the counseling office as space is limited. Seniors who have yet to complete their Project Life secondary visit, this event can satisfy this requirement. Juniors interested in signing up for Powder Puff as players or coaches can get a permission slip from either the class bulletin board or from Mrs. Marzok in room 208. Signed forms and money must be turned into Mrs. Marzok by Friday, October 18th in order to pay. S dues must be paid to participate. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors interested in taking the ASVAB can do so by signing up in the counseling office. The ASVAB will be on Friday, November 15th here in the LGI. So why take the ASVAB? It can provide you with an opportunity to learn about where your potential career strengths lie, free opportunity to practice a standardized test to help with future tests such as the SAT or the ACT. If you desire to serve in the military, it gives you your entrance score. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to Mr. Thompson in the counseling office. Today is the last day to register for the October 26th ACT. Registering this, registering this week requires a payment of the late fee of $30. Do you have a passion for math, possibly interested in act actuarial science, where a typical entry salary is about $75,000? Here is a great opportunity to shadow that field. Conrad Siegel is conducting their career day experience on Thursday, November 7th in Harrisburg. Space is limited, so you need to register early. See Mrs. Fallout at the College and Career Center desk to pick up a flyer with more information. The following college representatives are coming to meet with interested students grades 10 through 12. Please sign up at the College and Career Center desk in the library if you are interested in attending a meeting. Tuesday, October 8th, Muhlenberg College, Susquehanna University. Wednesday, October 9th, your Sinus College, your College, Juniata College, McDaniel College. Thursday, October 10th, Lebanon Valley College, Millersville University. And Friday, October 11th, IUP, Marywood University, and St. Vincent College. A Cookstown admissions counselor will be visiting Cedar Crest on Thursday, October 17th at 11 a.m. She will then be conducting an instant decision day opportunity for seniors who plan to apply to Cookstown and would like to know after a brief one-to-one -one interview if they are qualified to be admitted. Students do not need to commit that day. If interested in this opportunity, which also involves obtaining an application fee waiver, please see Mrs. Fallout at the College and Career Center desk in the library as soon as possible, since appointment times are filling quickly. In club news, the deadline to join Drama Club is October 15th. If you'd like to join, please bring your $10 dues, which includes your t-shirt, to room 608. The October Drama Club meeting will be for members only. You must join and pay dues to be eligible to attend our after-school field trip to see Jekyll and Hyde. Members who wish to see Jekyll and Hyde should go to Mrs. Haynes' room, 608, and pick up a permission slip right now. The Key Club Courtyard project, originally scheduled for yesterday, has been rescheduled for tomorrow due to rain. Also, Key Club is looking for volunteers to can for donations for the Four Diamonds Fund this Saturday, October 12th. Canning is scheduled for two-hour shifts outside local stores. Go to signup.com for more information. Come out to the SFC Pancake Breakfast tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. in room 310. You'll be glad you did. The Renaissance Club will be having its first ice cream social on Wednesday, October 9th during all four lunches. This will be for all Renaissance card holders from 10th to 12th grade. Please make sure you have your rent card and your school ID to get a bowl of ice cream. If you have received an acceptance letter to NHS, please tear off the bottom section of that letter, mark your response, sign it, and bring it back to room 221 ASAP. Also, if you think you should have received an acceptance letter and you did not, please see Mr. Plichta in room 221 to verify your NHS application status. 
12 NHS members are needed as soon as possible for a volunteer project. It is time for you to stand up for the challenge. Please see Mr. Plichta for details in room 221. Again, if you need service hours and would like to help, see Plichta as soon as possible to help. This Wednesday during activity period, the ability-based learning class will be selling ice cream for breakfast. They're here in the studio to tell us more. Hello, this is the ABL class, and we would like you to we would like you to buy some ice cream. Ice cream sandwich are one dollar. Ice cream sauce, fifty cents, and the ice the chocolate chip ice cream sandwich is two dollars. We would like you to come down October 9th in the room 500 during activity period. And we are happy to start your happy family. Oh, God, no! <laughs> the CTC provides an opportunity for students to get experience in hands-on job fields before they even graduate from high school. Correspondent Feeman talked to Counselor Mrs. Knight to find out more information. The CTC is actually the Lebanon County Career and Technology Center. And, I mean, it was most often, back in my day, was known as the VOTEC. Um, and, honestly, it, it had a reputation of being a place that people went to when they didn't want to be in school. And what I need everyone to understand is the, the Lebanon County CTC is it's an extension of Cedar Crest High School. It's an option for students who want to pursue post, I mean, really not post-secondary, but who want to pursue a trade or a health career, dental, um, sports therapy, culinary. Um, it is not, you know, while it has masonry and it has auto body and it has those hands-on programs that are very typical, um, you know, of what they used to call Votech, the Career and Technology Center now really opens up and looks at what's available, what's needed in our community. And so those programs at CTC change based on what's needed in our community. People who go to the CTC can nearly bank on coming out of high school with employable skills and getting a job directly in the workforce in our area, but also those skills transfer to Colorado, they transfer to Florida, they transfer anywhere. They will come out with employable skills. Tomorrow, some of the best students in Morning Announce Men's program are leaving for the All-American High School Film Festival. There will be, they will compete with hundreds of schools from around the nation to win a film competition. Correspondent Philip Hatch has made a video to showcase some of the videos from last year to show what we will be doing during the competition. The, the heart of Thai cooking is a pestle and mortar, and it's like all these fresh ingredients, and they're pounded up in a pestle and mortar um, versus blending them. A blender just chops everything. When you pound something, the, the, the essential oils come out and the, the ingredients combine differently. I didn't really understand it yet, but I had just been diagnosed with xeroderma pigmentosum. Big word, I know. It basically means that... Your skin is very sensitive. If you spend just a few seconds out there in the sun, it, it could hurt you like, like you are touching it, you know? No. And I won't let you take this from me too. You wouldn't understand anyway. You don't know what it's like to have something that meant the world to you just suddenly ripped apart right in front of your face. What have you lost? I've lost more than you know. So uh, we're both going to the All American High School Film Festival. We leave tomorrow after school. We're both really excited for it. Very so, excited. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. In sports news, there will be a short informational meeting for all interested softball players this Thursday, October 10th at 7.30 a.m. in room 209. If you have any questions or cannot attend, please see Coach Leonardo in room 209. Anyone who is wrestling this year or is thinking about wrestling this year and just wants to check it out, please come to the Open Gym Workouts. They're every Monday and Wednesday, 4.30 to 6 p.m. in the upper gym located above the pool. All are welcome to attend. Section 7s are now available for pickup in the high school office. If you would like your sports news announced, please email CCHS today at gmail.com by 7.10 a.m. The school day following your game so we can announce it. If scores are not submitted in time, they will not be announced. 
The following students should report to the nursing office after the announcements. Trey Thomas. Jason Stauffert. Harley Flynn. Luke Shuddy. Monica Panero. Jace Herrero. Adrian Allwine. Rachel K Carney. Connor Firestone. Tanner Miller. Leilani Rios. And Marissa Winters. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Lillian Westhafer. And I'm Carter Kent. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.